The overall goal of this procedure is to evaluate the detonation velocity and detonation pressure for a novel explosive formulation using piezoelectric pins and a photonic Doppler velocimetry window. This is accomplished by first preparing the piezoelectric pins and a photonic Doppler velocimetry window for the test procedure. The second step is to measure and load the explosive samples into the machined acrylic tubes. Next, the detonator is affixed. The experiment is placed in the enclosed test chamber and the test charge is detonated. The final step is collecting and analyzing the time of arrival and pressure data. Ultimately, combined detonation velocity and detonation pressure tests were used to characterize and optimize explosive formulations. As explosive formulators, we are not afforded the luxury of multiple runs and non-destructive tests. Therefore, accurate and repeatable measurements of detonation velocity and detonation pressure is extremely important. Here, explosive engineers Eric Robel and Roger Cornell will be demonstrating how to measure detonation pressure and detonation velocity. The main advantage with photonic Doppler velocimetry is the extremely accurate measurement of detonation pressure. First, prepare bundles of six BNC cables to be used with the piezoelectric pins. The cable length should be adjusted to the test site's geometry. Now, using a high-accuracy caliper, measure the test sample and booster pellet's diameter and length. The test fixtures can be machined for any...